are here with our five puppies left. And what we are going to do is we're gonna do a little bit of personality for you, kind of show them. Um, this is a big week because this is puppy selection week. Uh, they are seven and a half weeks old right now. So we're gonna bring, bring them in, kind of go through them one at a time, show you a little bit of what they know. They've been working on their fear and they've been working on their sit, a little bit on their weight. Um, this week is actually a big week for us because we're starting with our loose leash walking. Um, we're starting with our item knowledge, which is really, really big. Um, we had a really a great um, revelation, I should say, with one of our uh, puppies from our last litter. Uh, we had gotten a video in from them as far as some of the things that they have learned so far with being able to do the item recognition, which taught them to do what they did with the soccer ball, which is really cool, which we'll show you uh, probably next week when these guys start with their item recognition. Uh, but for right now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring everybody in. We're going to get them to sit for us. We're going to get them to hear for us one at a time. Um, they're learning their names. Josie does real good with her name already. Uh, we're going to show them how that they have to learn to take a treat one at a time. And like I said, then we'll talk a little bit about each personality. So are we ready? Puppies here. Here, puppies here. Good job. Who is everybody coming? Madison, here. Come on, big girl. Good job. Can all my puppies sit for me, please? Can I see who can sit? Madison, I need to sit. Oh, Carl sitting. Connor sitting. Very good, Carl. Everybody's going to get a treat one at a time. Madison, I need you to sit, please. Are we ready? Good sit, Connor. Very good boy. Who else is going to sit? Good sit. Carl, don't beat up your sister. Good sit, Josie. Who else? Carl, good sit. Madison, how about you? Very good girl, Madison. Cole, very good, Cole. Very good job. There we go. Very good. Now we're going to show you a little bit as far as the fear, one at a time. We're trying to get them basically to go one at a time because we want them to not charge all of a sudden at everything from the standpoint. We also want them to know their own name. Josie, Josie here. Good girl, Josie. Cole here. Good job, Cole. Ready? Madison here. Where's Madison? Where's Madison? Madison here. Oh, good girl. Good girl. You know what? That wasn't Madison. Where's Madison here? Good job. Good job. Where's Carl? Carl. Carl here. Good job. And Connor. Where's Connor? There's Connor. Good job. Cole over here. Cole. Where's Cole? Good job. Very good. Okay, one at a time. We have a treat for Connor. Good job. Ready? We have a treat for Madison. Good job. Remember, these guys are seven and a half weeks old. So they, I'm going to say that this litter, Josie, is probably about a week ahead of time than our last litter. Um, with every litter, Carl, very good. And Cole, sit please. Good boy. With every litter, we try to learn something new. We try to learn what we can do different to enhance upon the experience. Um, I don't think that you'd be a good trainer if you didn't always think that there's something that it is that you can learn, something that you can do better. So I've kind of changed things up a little bit with these guys. One of the things I've changed up um, is their feeding. And last time we did where we did a lot of individual feeding, we did a lot of different areas and so forth. What I found was we had a lot of very fast feeders. So in the extended program, I had to turn around and, and concentrate on that. This time I'm feeding them more as a group. Uh, what I've noticed is I'm leaving the food out, they're not finishing it, which is a good thing, which means they're turning into slow eaters. So maybe we've come on to something here, but once again, a little bit of a learning experience on a little bit, you know, a little bit different things that you tweak your program along the way. But right now what I want to do is just kind of go through one at a time and show you. We'll get our first up here, and this is Carl. Carl is, I want to say, the most improved student. Carl was very, very timid um, when we first got him, when he, he was very, very little. He was kind of the one that would always kind of run and hide. This is Mr. Very Well-Rounded right now. Um, he's a very, very happy-go-lucky boy. He is one of those that will dive off the snares and you for kiss and baby. He's just, I mean, they're all sweet. There's nothing I cannot say about any each and every one of them. They're all learning at a little bit different rates. Um, he knows his sit. He knows to go down the stairs. Uh, like I said, we've done just briefly on our, our loose leash walking. We're a bit more into it this week. He, he does know his here, and he's really starting to learn his name. So Carl's a very, very well-rounded boy. He's probably, I would say, medium in size compared to, to the other puppies. Um, he's not the smallest one, but he's not the biggest one. He's kind of, him and Connor are kind of the same, and I think Cole is just a little bit smaller. 
Uh, he is pretty much very, very cream, very, very white. As you can see, he does have that big block he had like his dad does. Um, all around, super, super sweet guy. Uh, likes to play, likes to find things. Um, pretty much kind of an explorer. So that's Mr. Carl. Uh, he's my good boy, right? All right, who else do we have here that's chewing on my shoelaces? This is Connor. Connor and Carl are about the same size. Uh, Connor is also a very little white boy. I would say Connor is a little bit more um, reserved, a little bit more laid back than I would say Carl or Cole is. <laughs> Josie is actually running over to the camera and like now, film me, film me. She's a little stink pot. Um, he is, he hasn't mastered the stairs yet. He still stands at the top and, and is kind of like barking at everybody like, why don't you let me down? Uh, but that doesn't mean anything. They all learned that at different rates. I'm not kind of worried about that. Uh, Connor is one that you need to, to coerce just a little bit more to kind of go things. So, but that's okay because that's that laid back personality. Um, he's a little bit more of a snuggler, a little bit more of a cuddler, I would say, than Cole or Carl. Um, Cole being the most outgoing of the three boys. So there is Connor. And let's see who else do we have here. Who else is this? Who is this one right here? This is Miss Madison. Oh my goodness. She is our biggest of all. She's probably about a pound heavier than everyone else. Um, Miss Madison, she does know her sit. She's just getting her name. She too, she'll do the stairs sometimes. Sometimes she kind of stands at the top. Um, but she is, I would say, of the between the two girls, she's probably the more calmer. She's a little bit more cuddlier. Um, she, don't get me wrong, she's a very, very much explorer. She kind of, she's the only one that will play fetch. Let's put it that way. We can throw the ball for Madison. She will literally go get the ball already and bring it back to us. Right, big girl? Huh? I said, good girl. But she's one of those that likes to do this and kind of like, where you kind of, kind of hook up on the couch with, hang out with you. Um, where Josie's a little bit more outgoing and Josie's going to be the type of, hey, let's go, come on, we got stuff to do, we got stuff to see, right? That's what she's going to be like. Let's see who else we have here. We're, who are you? Mr. No, let's see, that's Carl again. Who are you? Over here, here's Cole. This is my adventure boy. This guy needs to be like white water rafting or something. <laughs> He's the guy that, that wants to go out and wants to be like, hey, let's see what we can do. Um, all the other puppies, I'm saying, okay, it's time to go out and go potty. Cole's the first one diving off. He's the one going for the sticks, going for the leaves, looking for every single thing that he can get into. Um, not in a bad way, but just very, very exploratory. Um, he does like to be cuddled, but he is just definitely a type of dog that wants to kind of go out there um, and explore the world. Um, he'd be a great adventure dog. Somebody that you can kind of take everywhere. Don't see any bit of fear in him as far as sounds, sights, anything. Actually, I haven't seen that in any of them, to be honest. Um, we do, you know, we do the little training where here's a perfect example. Uh, we take like the piping and we'll drop it and make a sound. Not anybody's jumping. Not anybody's going crazy. What you got is you got dogs that are curious. You don't have dogs that are running away saying, oh my God, what was that sound? What was that noise? So that, once again, goes back to our sight and sound training. But here's Mr. Cole. And let's see, who else did we get? We did Cole, we did Connor, we did Carl, we did Madison. We have Miss Josephine. This is the stink pot of the bunch. Archie, you are the stink pot. She's our talker. She will come up and she will tell you what she wants to do, regardless, right? I love this girl. She um she follows you around. She's got such personality. As you can see, she doesn't right now, she doesn't want to be in my arms. She wants to be down because guess what? Things are going on and I can't miss it. Um, she's definitely going to be for someone that wants to go with the excitement, go with the flow, you know, possibly the family, going to the soccer games, doing what you want. Now you want to come back up here? She wants to tell me what it is that she wants to do when she wants to do. So she's actually going to have a little bit, little bit more discipline than everybody else. She's the smallest as once again, you see, she's not about a cuddler. She's about let's go, let's see what's going on. There's a ball down there, there's toys down there. I want to play. Right, Miss Josie? She's a sweetheart. Anyway, thanks for watching our training canine videos. And that's our puppies. And that's where they are at seven and a half weeks. Have a great day.